GG guys. Shut up. Since my teammates think I'm so bad at video games, I'm gonna make my own. And I'm not gonna leave my room until I finish it. Wait, that's a great idea. I started things off by creating a new Unity project, but uh, what exactly was I gonna make? I mean, I didn't start this just because my teammates play me in a video game. Shut up! Okay, maybe just a little. But every time that 2am motivation hit and I saw some solo dev make millions, I was like, that could be me. I set my alarm for 5am, make a David Goggins playlist, only take this cold shower. showers, shower? Oh no! and then sleep straight through my alarm. So yeah, that's why I decided to lock myself in my room and not leave until I finish this game. No exceptions, no excuses. Because I wanted to prove my ranked teammates wrong, I wanted to make something I was actually good at. Multiplayer games? Nah. So I looked at the small amount of single player games I've actually played and landed on Sekiro. An action adventure game where you dodge, deflect, and attack. I beat it in a decent amount of time, and it felt good to play, so I chose it as my main inspiration. So I started things off by adding this little bean guy and setting a movement frame. And then... So yeah, it's been over 6 months since I touched anything 3D, so I was pretty clueless. That probably explains why this sword took me nearly 7 hours straight to make. At first I thought it was terrible because of how I rigged it, but when I played the animations by themselves they looked fine. It was when I strung them together it looked weird. So I rewrote the code a few times. Uh, I think I made it worse. Then I changed the code again. Still broken. Then I saw this random button in the editor, <laughs> pressed it, and then magically the animation stopped looking bad. That's when I realized, okay, maybe this isn't gonna be as easy as I thought. But there's no time to worry about that unless I wanted to be stuck in this room forever. So I started building the first level. The first level is basically just a room to introduce the player to combat. So after adding a particle trail to follow the sword and a deflect, I worked on the enemy AI. I don't really know why, but sometimes the AI would fall flat on its face, while other times it would teleport in front of me and kill me. But that was until I figured out that Unity had its own AI system built into it, which made the enemy able to pathfind to the player. Unfortunately, this took most of the day to figure out, so I considered going to sleep. But after closer inspection, my game looks horrible, so I added some light rays into the scene and waited for them to bake overnight. Yeah, so after letting the light bake overnight, it somehow turned into this. Next, I started by making the second level. This level would have players avoiding and deflecting balls into their launcher to make them blow up. With this idea in mind, I started by making the generators and the deflect mechanics, and looking past a few bugs, it was fine. But something entirely separate to coding kept lingering in my mind. I need a poop. But that would break the rules of the challenge. But I really need Do to. Do I go. really want to? It is a basic human I function. can just get over it. It's not that. So after adding a small exception to the rules, I went straight back to finishing the final parts of the second level, being this door that has to open and this lava leak. At this point, I was feeling like Asmund go the way my room was smelling. But I, I don't wear deodorant. The last time I wore deodorant is whenever I thought I could wear Axe body spray and girls would like me. And I felt like I couldn't hold out for much longer, but I knew that if I wanted to accomplish my dreams, I'd have moments like this, sitting in the mud with no guidance but my own. So I got ready for the last stretch. But before I add the final area, I added this room with a new sword. Picking it up allows you to switch types to fire. As mentioned before, my main inspiration for this game was Sekiro. And looking at the game, there's a few bosses to take inspiration from. But the game's hardest boss, without a doubt, was definitely Guardian 8. So that's why I chose Ishin to model my boss around. I started by adding these ice blocks that come from the roof. They're kind of like the lightning from Sekiro, but not really. I set up a spawning system where blocks spawn on random points on the roof and spawn over the course of the fight. And if a player walks under one of these blocks, they'll die. Then I added the boss, which was just a scaled up version of the enemy. Anyways, I added damage indication with camera shake and red vignette. Then to finish off, I added a second phase where the boss moves around and attacks faster. And with that, the core gameplay for my demo was done. Now I have to finish modeling and textures. So Blender couldn't run on my computer so I decided to use the Unity Asset Store to get some models and materials.
Hello? My car declined? After I found it? Okay. It's been almost five days since I showered, so I threw out texturing and started playtesting. Now that I know my game is playable, I made the main menu and pause. Then I waited for it to download. So it's been a couple hours and it uh, it won't export. So far I've blue screened every single time, so I'm not sure if I can download it. So I failed the challenge. But since no one can play the game, I'm technically the best at it, and therefore I'm better than my ranked teammates.